Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nilsson. This is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in to what is a pretty significant episode within our broadcast season. Uh, if you followed the show, you know that we do 26 episodes every year, and we try to keep it as close as we can to 13 ice and 13 open water episodes. So we've been on the ice now since November, so that means we're coming to the middle of our broadcast season, and we're going to start making the switch over to open water episodes. Now, we're not cutting anybody off cold turkey off the ice fishing shows. Uh, I should point out that we probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three more ice fishing episodes before we're going to make that big switch to open water. Now this show does come at a great time for us here at End Up Outdoors because we spent over 50 hours in the truck alone last week getting out to Idaho and back for last week's show. So the team and I, we all needed to regroup a little bit and that gives us the perfect point in our season to share an open water episode that we filmed early summer last year. Now we've talked about doing this in the past. I mean, we love our broadcast format here at In-Depth Outdoors. We film and air it in the same week, but there are some drawbacks. And uh, some of those drawbacks are we really don't get to touch on any warm water species. You think about it, our show ends when the Minnesota opener takes place. So we really don't get to do any largemouth bass shows, no open water trout or salmon, uh, no musky shows, and that really hinders our ability to cover a lot of great species. So that brings us to today's show. I'll be fishing with Pat McSherry up on Lake of the Woods for early summer northern pike. Uh, what's great about fishing Lake of the Woods is, in my mind, it's the best northern pike destination for any angler looking for trophy fish that I know of, uh, where you don't have to leave the United States or get on a float plane. Uh, you can literally drive right to this body of water. You don't need a large boat and the fish run huge. So if you've ever wanted to get in on some trophy northern pike, you're gonna wanna watch today's show and start thinking about that trip for early summer. So stick around, I think you're gonna love today's show. McSherry is a righteous and proper fishing name. Yeah, sure is. Ready to wrangle a pike? I think we're gonna wrangle a bunch of pike. As we mentioned, we're launching out of the War Road River today, and Lake of the Woods is one of those bodies of water that just has a diversity of habitat for pike. Uh, they, they mass outside of these little river mouths, late ice. Uh, of course, here on Lake of the Woods, you've got Rainy River, War Road River, Roseau River, Swift Ditch. I mean, about every five or 10 miles all the way around the lake, you've got another little tributary that really holds these pike early in the season. Uh, if the water temperatures were in the 50s, maybe even up to 60 degrees, we'd probably still have fish up in the rivers. But with the recent run of warmer weather that we've had, we've had a lot of days lately in the 80s, it's moved everything downstream, pushed everything back out towards the lake. Well, we won't have to go far, but uh, let's get rolling. All right, let's do it. There's one, there's big fish, big fish. All right. You think fishing the uh, spinner bait? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I just switched to it. I was wanting to get back in those reeds a little bit farther and that one definitely was within four or five feet of the edge of the reeds. Let but... me come in behind you. Okay. Well, I just saw those two nice fish. Ready? No, it's not quite done yet. Did you just ask me if I'm ready? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the driver's seat. Not a giant, but a nice one, a for very sure. Very nice fish. 
settle down in there. All, All right. right. Yeah. That'll get us started. Oh yeah. Well done, sir. It's a nice fish. You got it, you in control? Look at that too. She just inhaled that thing. All right. Pop that hook out. That's a nice fish though, James, huh? That's a good start. That might be a, a big male. That one's yeah. beat up pretty good, man. Yeah, very well could be. You know, nice fish to start off with though, heck. You won't get any argument from me. <laughs> Better than the one I had. Oh yeah. Mine uh, was a scrub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get her back. Him or her. All right. I think big old mama pike been chewing on her a little, or that one a little bit. <laughs> or maybe he was in fights with some other males. Who yeah, knows, huh? Very well could have been. All right, see you later. Bye, fish. That thing Go hit punches. it so hard, I thought it was a lot bigger than yeah. it was. Just That's good. smoked it. This is a fishy looking stretch here. I mean, you can see the shoreline. It's right ahead of us here. It's a good, oh, I don't know. It's not a quarter of a mile, but it's a piece. It's a haul, and there's there's reeds all the way through this. And what we're doing is we're fishing the edge closest to deep water. And deep is all relative here on Lake of the Woods. You get back in these bays, and you know you might have 20 foot of water a mile out. But what you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to push back in, get up along the shoreline, or fish those uh, the reeds that are in two three foot of water. You really want to be out as deep as you possibly can. Uh, there's much better looking stands of reeds up shallower. Uh, out here, this is all old growth. It's all been beat up by the ice, but this is what the fish are holding to, and they just kind of lurk right on the edge of these reeds, ready to dart out at anything shiny, flashy, or white that goes streaming by. We get out here early like all good fishermen should, and typically, oh, look at that. Uh, typically, you won't have a real good bite first thing in the morning in this stained water. I just got rocked. Too much talking, not enough fishing. Did you see that one, Pat? Yeah, I saw the big boil. There's one. No, come on. <laughs> oh, he came off. <laughs> that oh, was man. right where that one smoked me. That one just creamed it, too. It oh. wasn't that big. Yeah, well, then I feel a little bit better. <laughs> Craftsmanship and precision are just words until you add driving passion and a knowledge of what defines rod building excellence. Tuned up custom rods are built with a perfect blend of rod balance and action. A truly custom experience achieved only with the highest quality materials. From the handle to the last guide and every thread wrap in between, it's these components along with an attention to detail that makes our customized rods a tuned up custom. You know, a lot of times guys get tempted to try to get these fish up in the streams. Uh, right now we could get way up the rivers where these pike have spawned, but because the temperatures are in the 70 degree range up there, there's no mature fish. There's lots of fish this size though. Fish. Got him, huh? Yep, second time around. Netter? Or? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'll be a netter. Yeah, it looks like it. That'll oh, yeah. work. That is an angry fish. I mean, that's one of the wonderful things about this time of year. As the water temperatures get into the 60s, these fish get so active and aggressive. Yeah, that's just a low 30 inch pike. A nice one though. I needed to get on the board. Patrick was uh, off to a quick start, so it was my turn. Why don't you hand me that net handle up? And I love it when they give you a, a second shot at it. For sure. Emmers. Oh, hooks out, love it. Perfection. This fish is still really green. <laughs> get her out of there. Get a safe hold on her. Now that fish hasn't been beat up or chewed up. Looks really healthy too. Very healthy. Probably a little tired now, but so am I. <laughs> so fair is fair. Off the side of the boat you go. Yeah, that's a that fish is in really good shape. Some of those fish just get absolutely battle scarred from the spawn. There she's ready. Bye-bye. A wet sleeve is always a good sign. So here, you know, what we're using today is, I'm using heavy bass gear. Uh, seven foot one inch, medium heavy G. Loomis rod. Braid that suffix, 60 pound braid. We've got basically musky leaders on. Uh, you know, we're fishing these larger spinner baits. There's no reason to you know, like hand tie in a real lightweight floral leader. This is an 80 pound, get it off the shelf, VMC fluorocarbon leader. And on this end, we're fishing that number six Blue Fox Super Boo spinner bait. 
Uh, this is a marabou bait. A lot of times they'll get tied up with deer hair. Holding a marabou spinner bait out of water doesn't really do it justice. Everything just kind of folds and collapses along the, the shaft of the bait. It's when you get it in the water, things really puff out and kind of undulate and quiver in the water. Uh, it's a really cool bait. And again, here on Lake of the Woods in the stained water, there's a lot of colors that'll catch pike, but I tell you what, you can hardly go wrong if you got a white one tied on the end of your line. And one of the nice things about Lake of the Woods is you've got true trophy potential. If you love fishing pike, this should definitely be a, a bucket list destination for you. Fish are big. This is definitely Pike Central right here. I mean, yep. this little knob. Yep. Agreed. There's fish. Got him. Hit it twice. <laughs> oh, I think I might have an all righty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that was awesome. All right, man, that is a nice gator. Just lunchbox that fire tiger. <laughs> Come here. That was awesome. Hit it once. Felt the blade stop spinning. Where do you think? Whoa! <laughs> oh, they're so strong. That's cool. Oh. Oh. She's now finished. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Had a little cloud cover come in, switched to fire tiger. That was a couple minutes of casting. Yeah. I can't say it was my first cast, I've been throwing it a little bit. But that fish just destroyed that bait in a good way. Now, let's see if I can get her out of there without her hurting me. I knew it was coming because I felt the that push, you know, that hard solid whack. There we go. That's my biggest fish of the day. Nice one. Getting close mm -hmm. to that trophy caliber. That's gonna be an upper 30 inch fish. Pretty one. Some of them we had earlier, they were a little bit beat up. That one's in real good shape. We won't spend a lot of time with this fish out of the water and get him back. That's the aggressive fish that we all love so much. Oh yeah, she's gonna kick. Bye bye. That's good stuff, man. New for 2015, the release of the WX1910 from Skeeter Boats redefines the features and performance anglers can expect from a 19-foot boat, including the torque transfer system, making the hull on the WX1910 the strongest ever built, the React keel, enabling unparalleled boat control in tough conditions, and integrated jump seats for the ultimate in seating flexibility. Visit your local Skeeter Boats dealer and see for yourself why no other 19-foot boat offers more advanced features, storage, and performance than the WX1910. There we go. Boom! Still got him? Still got him for now. Bring him through the forest. <laughs> Any idea how big he is? I don't. What? Good, I'll keep casting. <laughs> <laughs> These little reed islands that are out isolated away from everything else, that is a nice fish. Yeah, we better know. That's him. where you want to be. <laughs> that uh, one hit it right when I hit the water. I bet you I took three or four cranks. I like it when they make it easy. Easier. Way to go, Mr. McSherry. Not done yet. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Another upper 30s, anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome fish. You got him? Yep, I got him. You got him. your player, Sandy. You're good to go. All right. Nice fish. Nice fish, huh? Good grip, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Real healthy looking, pretty markings. Just a great fish to catch. But yeah, pretty much all these fish have been right in the toughest, thickest cover. So, we'll get her back. Fish on over here, you better hurry up with that net. <laughs> oh, he got off. Darn it. I could have been there. <laughs> I know you would have been. <laughs> you know, we've made a small change here in the, uh, the lures we're using. This morning we were using the Super Boost spinners. It's got the blade that revolves around a shaft, more like a trout spinner style, just big. And now we're using these Super Boo spinner baits, more of a bass style. And the reason we've made the switch is really simple. These cut through the uh, reeds so much easier, you get less snags. And uh, you know, that spinner has a treble hook. 
they got a hook sticking out to each side of the lure as it goes through the reeds and it was grabbing debris. And uh, we had a, a, a switch to try to find something that would kind of glide through those reeds a little bit better and that's what this bait's doing. Fish haven't seemed to care very much that we made that switch. We're just a lot uh, more likely to make a cast that comes back through the reeds versus hanging up on them. Big fish, big fish. Stay hooked up, stay hooked up. Oh, you're gonna need to get the net, bud. I got it. Woo! Oh, this is so much fun. Wow. Oh, that is a nice fish, James. Power. If you can get her the first time, that'd be great. Awesome. Oh, we got her. <laughs> nice. That is a, that's a big fish. Yeah, she went right down in the reeds. Right after the hit. Need players? Hook's loose. Thank you. Got it. Oh, look at that. That's a heavy, heavy, heavy hippo. Big fish. <laughs> Just keep working these reeds. If you're a pike fisherman, you love catching fish with teeth. This bite here on Lake of the Woods, first couple weeks of the season after you get your first stretch of warm weather, one of the best times of the year to chase these fish. And of course, this body of water, the results speak for itself. Thanks for the scoop, man. Yep, no problem. Awesome fish. That is a heavy pike. Move on this side. What a nice fish. Oh, come here. Woo. Low 40 inch fish. Hit with some thunder. You know, we're gonna come in here today and we're gonna amass a really nice mess of these upper 30 to low 40 inch fish. And there's just really not that much to it. I'm not saying it's like falling off a log easy, but if you pay attention to water temperature, depth that you're finding the weeds, I guarantee you come out here, you crank through these reeds with the right color spinner baits, they're gonna catch fish. They're gonna be big like that one. And uh, she made a mess in my boat. Kind of got back at me a little bit for being caught, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a bucket of water because that is some filthy, filthy stuff. <laughs> it's buy, save, fish time at your local Skeeter dealer. Now through March 31st, 2015, Skeeter Boats is offering rebates up to $3,000 on 2015 models or Yamaha factory financing with rates as low as 3.9% with no money down for qualified buyers. With buy, save, fish, there's never been a better time to get into a new Skeeter boat. But this fantastic offer won't last long. So stop into your local Skeeter Boats dealer today before this deal gets away. Skeeter Boats, engineered like no other. Look at you, Mr. White Spinnerbait. Did you see those boils? There, he got it again. That's awesome. He bit it again. This feels like a nice fish, too. Well, he gave you three shots at it. I'm not sure he gets to be big, too, does he? That is a nice one. I don't mind being wrong. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is a beautiful sound. Going for him. Nice. Nice job. That was cool. That fish <laughs> bit I it watched. twice yep. and then just wailed on it. Let's see if I get you a player suit too. There's Thank everything you. you need. All right. And he's on hook <laughs> already too. Grab him here. Another beautiful fish. He's caught up in the net there. Man, I can't, this is a lot of fun. These fish are getting really active too this afternoon. This morning started out a little slower, but. You wouldn't rather uh, go home and mow the lawn? No, probably not. That fish has been caught before. Look at the tail damage uh, on the nub there. That's mm -hmm. not, you didn't do that. that nope. That's been like that. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, catch and release works. Either that or from spawning or something. Maybe sure. it was up in the rubble and rocks. All right, buddy. Off she goes. That's cool, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. I still can't believe that. When she made up her mind, it was all over. Just the sound she made when she ran, that whoosh. Right. They've got some power behind them, they will move some water. 
Well, we've got a uh, sudden change in conditions here, something that we're gonna have to keep an eye on anyway. Uh, you know, these warm, humid summer days are great for fishing, but they'll also kick up a real powerful thunderstorm. We haven't heard any thunder yet, but uh, we've definitely gone from sunny skies and real light winds to something brewing. So I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna be out here, but typically, you know, you get these afternoon thunderstorms and they're an awesome bite window for a big fish. Got him, big fish right next to the boat, Pat. Oh, that's a big that. fish, that's a big fish. Let me grab the net. Oh, such a big pike. Get right next to the boat. Smash that fire tiger again. Pat, we are doing the pike dance here, man. <laughs> Whoa! Raise that motor if you can, please. He's right up in it. Oh, come on, fish. Oh. Oh. It is unbelievable how strong they are. <laughs> that thing is giving you a run for your money, well, that's for it sure. It pulls so hard I can't even hit the free spool. I mean, obviously I've got my drag really tight. Woo! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> There's just not oh, a lot of fish in fresh water that'll make the guy do that kind of dance. We have had such a phenomenal day out here today. This has got to be one of those trips, we're going to call it a bucket list trip. If you're a pike fisherman, you got to come up to Lake of the Woods this time of year. Uh, early season like this, it kind of depends on the, on the summer that you're having, how long this real shallow bite lasts. Uh, we've got great conditions right now. It'll go well into June for us this year. If you're a walleye guy that's coming up to Lake of the Woods, you're going to be up here for a week. You got to take some time to do this. If you're going to be up here anyway, all you gotta do is just pack that heavy bass rod and a handful of spinner baits like we're using today, and it's game on. Pat, I think we're gonna call this an end to a phenomenal day. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do a fly-in trip to get on fish of this quality. So I'm gonna get this fish unhooked. I think it's another, you know, low 40-inch class fish. Great way to end the day. Yep. You are such a big fish. All right, get a control of her head. Pop that bait out, woo! All right, you wanna hold this net, Pat? She's gonna flip, I yep. think. I got it. Ah, oh, what a fish. That's cool. That fish, so much horsepower, gave me a run for my money. Thank you, net man, I appreciate it so much. No problem. Think about the number of big fish we put in the boat today. There's no way all these fish are gonna make it in today's show. It'll just kinda of be a sampling. But this definitely gives you a feel for the true trophy potential out here on Lake of the Woods. Give it a shot. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let it go. Thank you, I'd shake your hand, but <laughs> you, you don't want a piece of this. <laughs> not, not way that uh, my hands feel right now. Get this net out of the way for you. Thank you. She thanks you. Oh, she's so ready to go. Yeah. Gone. What a day, man. <laughs> to be able to just drive to something like this, you know? So many guys start a trip with those in mind on a float plane. You just don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. Lake of the Woods has got it all. Oh yeah. Let's go home. Yeah, let's Dinner's do it. on me, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.